Um, and you you can tell. You can tell as of right now that this team is just not getting it done. It's not getting it done. And mainly, it's not the development team. It's the art team. That's the main problem. You have the art team. And then you also have the team as a whole who decided gameplay was more important than the graphics. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me not mislead y'all. There should be balance between the gameplay and the graphics. You know what I'm saying? The gameplay should match the graphics and the graphics should match the gameplay. Not the other way around. Not have sorry graphics and excellent gameplay. We want excellent graphics and excellent gameplay. This is next gen, guys. Next gen. Y'all not understanding this. And a lot of people that support live, I support live. I support 2K. But a lot of people that really are diehard, you know, people, guys that played it way back before I was even, you know, old enough to know what a game was, you know what I'm saying? Um, people that really back in the day played this game, they still fail to realize this right here, it, don't get sold just basically because live is coming back. Y'all are giving them too much slack, man. Because you know good and well, as long as they've been been out, there is no excuse. No, it's none. It's no no excuse on why this game looks as awful as it does. Now, I, I, it looks decent, but it's not good. Nowhere near good. It's decent enough for you to pick it up and say, hey, we got a basketball game. This game shouldn't be $60, though. I'm going to damn well tell you that. This game should be at the most 10, 15, 20, probably 5, you know, put it on the PlayStation Network market or, you know, Xbox Live market, something. It, it, it don't even need to be in stores, man. Just put it up there for a download, you know what I'm saying? This game right here just, it it, it, it should not have been hyped that, like it was. Um, the only thing that lived up to my expectations was the bounce tech, the signature moves for the players, and the signature shots. Other than that, this game is a complete failure. Now, a lot of people say I over-exaggerate. I'm not over-exaggerating because, honestly, tell yourself, tell me, be honest, be honest. Tell me exactly that this, what you saw, was exactly what you expected from a next-gen game. Tell me that you believe that Live was going to get rid of these cartoon looking models. You're going to get rid of the, the skinny, all, all the players being the same size. Tell me that you thought that this game was going to be a solid comeback and you weren't going to hear un any of this BS talking about we need two or three years to make the game where it's supposed to be. If Correct me if I'm wrong. Excuse me. But correct me if I, I'm wrong. Um... I thought your comeback game was supposed to be your best work, you know, put down into your product. Your best work, your best work, not the best work to the point where you can't improve, but your best work, you know what I'm saying, graphically and the smoothness of the game was supposed to be on the on point, on point. But instead, we getting a half-assed game with signature moves signature player moves um you know what i'm saying jumpers and a bounce tech but with that all all that being mixed in together you give us terrible graphics awful movements um you know just awful stuff that just does not even look like you guys tried it looks like nba elite and nba live 13 all over again i mean nba live 2003 was better than this game man i'm not even gonna lie to you NBA Live 2003 was better than this game. And that's just based off the movements. If you go back and play NBA, NBA Live 03 or you go watch a video on NBA Live 03, you would see exactly what I'm talking about. The movements up there, and it, it, it wasn't stiff. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't stiff. Now, granted, the big men up there were just ridiculous. That's just, that's just EA being EA, you know what I'm saying? They were just so slow, it's like molasses. Tried doing a crossover with Shaq. If any of y'all remember NBA Live 03, you know what I'm talking about. That that stuff was slow. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just just little things like that just made that game like you know it was good, but 
they could have tweaked it, you know, and made and built off it. Um, but talking about NBA Live right now being a solid game for years to come is that that's not even a statement that should ever be said. You know what I'm saying? Because if if y'all really think that this is great that they're building just off gameplay this year, and then next year they're gonna do graphics. This ain't how you make a video game. Name one video game that that's building one year graphics and the next year uh, gameplay. Hell, 2K don't even do that. They build on both at the same damn time. They just don't do it good. They build off graphics better than they build off gameplay. And see, that's that's what holds 2K down. So 2K, if I'm telling you just once again, if 2K comes out with solid gameplay that actually makes sense this year. No cheating, uh, CPUs, no cheesing allowed in the game. You, you get rid of those damn VC um, things. So, you, you know, get rid of the v, buying VC. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's little small stuff like that that can make that game just that better, just that much better, would actually just erase NBA Live forever. You know what I'm saying? They still could come out, but when you're looking in terms of competition, there is none. At this moment, there is no competition. I'm going to be straight honest to you. Because just by looking at the views on the NBA Live trailer on their own YouTube, not, not nobody else's YouTube, on their official EA Sports YouTube, you damn well know there's not a lot of NBA Live supporters in this world. When you got 42,000 people watching your video, and I don't even know what it is now. Cause I made this, I made the layout for this video already, so that's why it looks like, uh, you know, got so many old, like, you know, stats up there. I highlighted them the best that I could, um, just to bring it out, cause you know, highlighting on the computer is like a damn mess. You can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? It's not like in real life where you you use your hand and you're able to do it real good. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's, when you talk about in terms of making a comeback game, this was a disappointment. I mean, this game has the potential to be voted the most worstest game on the next gen consoles. You know what I'm saying? For for this time and moment. Because we got Watchdog delayed. All these other games are getting delayed. So NBA Live Downwell has a chance to be voted not only the worst company, but they also got a chance to be voted uh the worst game of the year that's been released you know what i'm saying that's been released because they're releasing in this year so you can give that the the, the worst game of the year award to nba live um now say what you want about 2k um uh, i i say what i want about 2k and i i down will tell you it's garbage as hell you know what i'm saying but if somehow they can muster up the strength to allow control into the player's hand you know what i'm saying having control into yourself as the player in the video game you know what i'm saying tighten up those controls go back to the old controller layout format that people loved um and you know find a way around all the difficult controls they added in then that game down well will be solid then people really gonna have uh you know love for the game because as of right now it's the, the control the control and everything else in the game is just animation and if you look at that nba 2k trailer that they showed you could tell physics exists look at the way anthony davis dunks the ball he just his body swings like in real life it swings no longer will you dunk the ball and you'll just be like flat out just on the rim and then off the rim he swung you had a point in, in the trailer where um, Kobe dunked on Rose. And, like, Rose put his hand out on Kobe's stomach and had his other hand up in the air trying to contest. So you see the physics and the contact looks to be on point when you look at that trailer. Now, when they show the gameplay, I damn well, if you can take that big of a leap from graphics, then you know the gameplay is going to be, you know, somewhat on point. Because 2K don't look like they playing around this year. Now, any year before, I would say, ah, oh, damn, this shit is ugly. You know what I'm saying? When they first showed the, the current gen, I knew damn well that shit was terrible. 
and I said off the bat, that ain't going to be good. I didn't even pick the game up, so you know it was terrible. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's just it's really disappointing that you would see live coming back the way it did in that Kyrie trailer, and then you get, you know, trolled. You, you think you get trolled with that Steve Nash teaser, and then you get the full thing the next day, and they were smart about it, too, because in the beginning, you see the end of Kyrie's trailer, which you think, oh, they, they're getting ready to show us something mind-blowing, like, right after this stops, and we're going to go into the next phase of their game, and then, well, we go into the next phase, that shit looks like it belongs on the damn Wii U or Android app. I mean, what the hell? Why do you waste our time and show us that garbage? Man, if I wanted that garbage, I'd go ask you to put Elite back on. Go back and dig up that old software from Elite and make that NBA Live 14. 